Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're in um, Novak over here by the big T-Rex and uh, we've just got a quest to go and get rid of the ghouls and the um, Repcon test site, which is going to be quite an interesting quest. Uh, there's the scrapyard, there's Helios 1. So, first of all, we're just going to explore everything over here. Cliff Briscoe's bungalow. Let's see what uh, what Cliff Briscoe has to say. Well, he doesn't have to say anything, but he's certainly a fan of the uh, dinky dinosaurs. I'm going to take that Sunset Sarsaparilla. He doesn't need it. Yeah, so what the hell's going on over here? I have no idea. Apparently these two uh, have been going for the... Uh, finish line? I don't know, it's a tripwire, but of course it's just a... it doesn't actually trip any... Um, hmm, trip any traps, which is odd. Yeah, he's quite a fan of them, apparently. There's nothing really here, apparently, so... oh well. Can I open this gun case? I can. Hunting rifle! Ooh! A hunting rifle, 25 damage! And a scope, that is... I am taking that. Sorry about that. Oh man. That is a very nice thing. 308. And of course I can mod it with a scope. Let's see. No, no, no. The hunting rifle. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, I like that. Let's see if it actually... Mm, no, it doesn't seem to do much does it yeah it might do a little difference now oh, this bloody thing my head is still crippled we need to get to a doctor ranger andy's bungalow let's uh, check his bungalow out hello hey we haven't met yet you must be new in town i'm andy now what do you do here andy right now a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You're with the NTR, right? Was. Was <clears throat> with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. And I've just noticed, uh, he's actually got the updated armor, so that's nice. That mod is working. Would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Oh, there's a lot of uh, sirens outside. Not in the game, over here. Um, did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Ouch. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. And what happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Damn. Your body is injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up <laughs> to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, 
Maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Oh nice. You've learned the uh, Ranger takedown special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. That's not too bad, I guess. <clears throat> right, so now we can... Uh, now that we, that we flattered him, him, we can go and steal some stuff. But not really, because there's nothing here. Alright, I'm gone. Um, ooh, phew. I thought it was gonna crash there. <laughs> Alright, that's blocked. Let's go talk to this guy. Howdy. Howdy. He's just a settler. Anything in the dumpster? I mean, come on, we gotta check. Ah, damn it. Ah, there's Boone's room. I'm not sure he's gonna be too happy about us getting in there, but hey. Let's go there anyway. Hello. There's a lot of blood here and every- Whoa! You need to leave. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'll talk to him when we, uh... You know, when he comes to his shift. Let's look at this place. We're just going into people's, you know, places that we shouldn't really, but oh well. That's what we do. Oh, there's a mushroom growing here. Ugh. Wasn't there something I could pick up here? Hmm. Wait a sec. Oh, it is glowing, yeah. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Ow, my head. <laughs> Gotta get a doctor. Manny Vargas. Okay, so this is his room. Grilled mantis. Noodles. Oh, that's a harmonica. A terminal. <clears throat> Message. Khan Hospitality. Manny, you made the right choice, putting us up and keeping it quiet. This weasel Benny's been twitching. Wait, this is... Uh, oh. Uh, has been twitchy since we stole that package from his boss, making me nervous as hell. But when I found out we'd be passing through an, uh, on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. I uh, let the other Khans say what they want. I know where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong, and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back if, like you never before. You know where to find us, McMurphy. Hmm. Mysterious. So now we've actually found out where he's gone. And we've got a new marker. Um, Camp McCarran, Boulder City, there we go. Alright, let's check the rest of the... Uh, Rooms here. Most of these are boarded up, so let's go up and try not to fall like that guy did. Oh, it requires key. That's probably the uh, room you can rent. Another motel room we shouldn't be entering, but we are anyway. <laughs> There's oxygen here. Surgical tubing. Oh, this is empty. Ouch! Doors. Oh, a hydra. I'm taking that. Ugh. Jet. Get out of here. Wait. There's more psychos here. Well, more psychos. There's one psycho. Another motel room that's probably empty. No, nope. no. Nope. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait. You... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Wait a second. I remember this guy being black in the unmodded version. Hmm. No, I don't. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. <laughs> Aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. <laughs> Why did you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Hmm. Why would this Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop? Well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Ouch. You robbed a casino boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. 
Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. <laughs> a little. <laughs> wow, my hat is off to you. That takes some balls. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. That's a tough brain. Good luck with that. I'll let you know if I find any work for a singer. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. All right, goodbye. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. Bloody hell, you're you're in trouble, mate. So he's what's been he's been trying to do? Motorcycle handbrake, gas tank. Oh yeah, he's probably been trying to uh, repair this motorcycle here. And for some reason, none of this is considered uh, stealing. That's a bit odd. We do have two sensors mo uh, sensor modules, so we could go back and uh, repair EDE, right? Yeah, I think we could. Ding, 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 ding. Let's jump door to motel room. Oh, someone's here. Huh. Bottle cap. I need the bottle cap. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Hello, same voice actress. You were a pilot? Vertibird pilot. Oh. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Ah, oh, that was her Vertibird. <laughs> what do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Did you fly for the NCR? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Yep, she was flying for the Enclave. Goodbye. Watch your six out there. Which is kind of interesting, you know, old lady over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, she was flying for the very, very nasty Enclave. Ooh. Um, she's not going to need that. I'm sure of it. Right. I need a doctor. Alright, so you know what? We should probably go to a doctor, but... Hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna do that. Let's go to Good Springs first. Get a doctor. To get this thing fixed. It's kind of a... It's kind of a cheap thing, I guess, because you can just... You know, quick travel for free like this and... Get the doctor to fix you up for 50 caps. Um, but I don't know. I'll just do it. And then I'll also go to uh, fixed EDE. Or ED. And, uh, yeah. Come on. Whoa! What the hell? And it's night time again. We came back here in need of help last time at night time as well. It's quite amusing. Bing. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to Victor yet. Have we? We'll have to do that. Hello, doctor. Need your help. Need help. Uga Auti. Need help. Uga. Where is he? There's a little hat here. Pre-war hat. Hello, doctor. How are you holding up? Um. Uh, can you heal my radiation? Sure, I can help you out. Ooh, no. Suit yourself. No, I want this. Don't look like... Fix me up. There we go. So... Oh yeah, it has to fade out and fade in. Blah, 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 blah. And he's sleeping. Sorry about that, Doc. Well, let's see. We don't have anything crippled anymore. Lovely. Alright. Let's go talk to Victor if we can. Hopefully he's in his shack. Right over there. Oh, that's interesting. Bloom, 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 bloom. Empty mailbox. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, so nice. You know, the funny thing is... Ooh. Bloody hell. That thing has a scary sound effect. Um, yeah, the... If, if in the apocalypse, most of the, uh, you know, street lights and everything would be off, because either they would be destroyed or no electricity, you would actually probably see much more of the uh, night sky. You know, like the galaxies and such would be quite pretty. Victor! Where are you? 
Where the hell is that robot? I'm going to sleep. Sleep for 10 hours. Actually, I'm gonna cancel before that. Five, six, there we go. Alright, Victor! Where is that damn robot? <laughs> cool music. Also, new music that I haven't heard before, before the DLC. What's over there? Haven't checked that house before. This is the... Oh no, that's, that's not the school. It's another different house. That's life. Let's take that. It's an empty bottle and nothing else. Yeah, what is this house? That looks quite pretty. Good springs. Oh, this is the schoolhouse. What? That looks quite nice from the outside. Huh. And we'll need uh, water. Alright. Where is that darn robot? Should be going about here somewhere. Hmm. Can you see him? I can't. Nope. Can't see him. At all. <laughs> Where did he go? And man, will somebody just please take these guys away? They're gonna start smelling. Probably already smelled before, but hey. Yeah, I really can't find Victor. Hmm. Oh well. So, now we are going to travel to... Prim and get Edie. Two major routes lead into the city of New Vegas from the south, Interstate 15 and Highway 95. Sunset Sarsaparilla, a fresh delight. Mm -mm -mm. Probably not so fresh anymore. And probably not as fizzy anymore. It's, if it is fizzy, I don't know. I just, you know, I imagine it's fizzy, first of all, because it does a when you open it, which also implies that it is indeed still fizzy. And, uh, well... Secondly, I don't know. I guess it's so old. Probably. Right, so... We've got the... Prim is the new sheriff. Electronics? No, no, no. Not yet. I want to take the... Oh. Crap. I would need to be, uh... Stealing this. Well, I'm hidden. There we go. I think I've got everything now. Try to fix it with parts. Fix it with the parts. There we go. Yeah. Hello. Oh, buddy, old pal. Thanks, beeping sounds. Companion protocol begin. Edie has given you the enhanced sensor spark. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I'd like to make some ammo. Can you help me? What? I have access to your multi-tools. I want to make... That's different. Interesting. So he's actually like a bench. Wait. Tactics interface open. Uh, combat. Weapon type. Ranged, of course. Uh. No, no. I want more. Combat. Yeah, aggression level... Passive. Not aggressive. Oh, didn't want to do that, but hey. Oh, there we go, that's much better. Be aggressive, use stim pack. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Wait here. Open inventory, use melee. Well, we can give him inventory, which is kind of nice, but for now, we're not gonna do that. Well, I got the... Uh, War robot working. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Um. And I can't <laughs> reply, apparently. I have some questions. Oh, wait. How's Prim these days? Got a new sheriff, as you know. 
Meyer's a bit rougher hewn than I might have liked, but he seems like a good sort. So far, so good. Excellent. Do you have anything for sale? Things pretty good with Myers watching over us. I can give you a little bit of a discount. Hmm. Excellent. Let's see what he has. Microfusion cells. I would like those. They're quite heavy, though. That's the problem. Service rifle. Another one. Today's physician. Environment rifle. Yeah, not much, so I'm probably just going to sell some stuff. Oh, 357. 30 DPS, 16 damage. Hmm, this is actually better. I'm gonna sell the revolver, I guess. Um, bada 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 bim. Plasma pistol, plasma rifle. Service rifle. I could sell the service rifle, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'll take the... Uh, I'll use the hunting rifle. Uh, aid. Not that much. I got so much stuff. Weapon repair kits. White horse nettle. Miscellaneous. Lots of pre war money. Some mods. Lots of cases. Lots of bobby pins. Lots of ammunition, of course. Which I should probably sell. Um, 20 gauge rounds. I've got lots of 10 millimeter, lots of 5.56, loads of 9 millimeter, bloody hell. Yeah, let's do it like that. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I have some questions about Edie. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? Courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Any idea what I should do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Okay, goodbye. Don't go getting yourself shot. I won't. And um, I hope you will join me for the next part. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.